Welcome back everybody to the modded fishing playthrough. I'm gonna be talking a little quiet. It's like 3 a.m. Uh, sorry I haven't been able to post videos. I don't know if you guys saw my pinned comment on one of the yo-yo uh, episodes. But like some of you, most of you should know. Uh, I work a real job right now. So I have like zero time. At least this week I have zero time. I'm trying to change my schedule. So I at least, you know, have time to post a video every day. But this week I've been working every single day. Uh, I pretty much just wake up, go to work, repeat for like the last like five days. But don't worry, the videos will be coming. I got a lot of plans. I just need the time for the plans. But yeah, we're back in Uncle Karius. We're gonna be finding the. Uh, we're gonna be finding Skeletron, not the Skeletron. We're gonna be finding Skeletron. Well, I guess it is the Skeletron. Well, I, is there really the? Or the of any boss because you can always, you know, spawn them back in. No, there isn't. So that answers that question. Thanks, Game Raiders. You're welcome. So, hopefully this should be an easy fight. Loki, I'm trying to gather all the rods for the edge. Is that what it's called? Is it edgy or is it edge? Edge battle rod. I'm going to call it the edgy battle rod. I like it better. So, yeah. Hopefully we can fight this boy. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. Honestly, we'll see what happens. I think what I'm going to do primarily is just battle rod him and maybe a couple of uh, fishes in there. See, the thing about the fish, oh my god, it destroys his hands. The thing about the fish, they're really strong. And I mentioned this time and time again, especially with Juice's uh, legendaries. I don't really want to use them all the time unless I have to. And most of the time I have to because I, it's hard fighting some bosses. I don't know if say hard, but maybe the weapons I have currently during some bosses just ain't good enough. So I have to use them. So sorry if you guys want to see more of Uncle Karius' rod, but there's all the weapons and he's shiny. Look at that. I just walked around. I just talked the whole time. We killed a boss. Uh, stars are brightening. The icy caverns are shimmering. Parts of marble in your world tremble. Rumble? I don't know what the fuck that said. But yeah, there you go. It was really easy. I mean, Skeletron, you ain't that bad. I don't know, I have really bad, like, me not, not like because I have poor memory and I can't remember things. I have bad memories of fighting the Queen Bee and Skeletron. And that might have been from that multiplayer series with me and Jirachi a long time ago. It just took us forever to kill the boss and also the throwing playthrough, the OG modded throwing playthrough. That gives me nightmares when I think of Skeletron and Queen Bee. I don't know why they were so hard in the playthrough. What is this picture? Impact. Is it a meteor? Yeah, it looks like a meteor. Oh, damn. She's just chilling down here all tied up. What am I going to do? I'm a release her because I'm a savior. I'm her savior. I'm not going to I'm not gonna take advantage of her being tied up. That's disgusting. Come on now. You're welcome, ma'am. Hey. Don't kill her. Bro, come on. Let's talk about this. Don't hit her through the wall. Oh, I'll hit you through the wall, though. We need her. So don't, don't do anything dumb, all right? We need you. Hold up. You know what I don't need? I don't need this jelly, so I'm going to drink it. Probably should have auto-trashed it. Oh, my God. I'm just getting blasted right now. All right. You know, there's already a lot of traps in Terraria, but IMO, in my opinion, that's what IMO stands for. Uh, I feel like there needs to be more variation in traps. There's a lot, but at the same time, there ain't enough. I want more. Let's make a mod for that. Somebody make a more trap mod. Boom, bada, bit. Dude, spikes take forever to mine. A lot of people told me I can just go to the reach and get them. Yeah, <laughs> I could have. But let's do it legitimately. Just this once. Just this once, let's do it legitimately. And also because I was just kind of lazy. What you want? Damn Minotaur. He can't even fit through a door. The big scary Minotaur can't fit through the damn door. His mom's a whore. <laughs> My favorite weapon. Ancient Shiv. Should I do a Shiv challenge? I might have to put that on that challenge playthrough. Uh, wheel. The Wheel of Challenges. I don't know what I'm officially going to call this series yet, but it's going to be something like that. Wheel's going to be in it. I'm talking about like wheel like tires steering wheel i'm talking about that type of wheel i'm not talking about like somebody saying real but they're like childish so they say wheel we will 
We we. It's like when I says streaming, say streaming, streaming to Wawiya. <laughs> How many uh spikes do we need? Do we need spikes for what the drainer? Oh, you know, I got something that needs to be drained. You know what I'm talking about. I don't even know what I'm talking about. All right. Uh, so we just need 25. That's not bad at all. The dungeon gather. It should be a series. One of these series, I'm gonna make like every single gathering and see what happens. We're just gonna be like overstocked on loot, which is a good thing. That's not a bad thing at all. But uh, we'll see which playthrough we can make that happen. Maybe Grognak, the healer. How? Why do I still get this buff? I don't have that accessory on me. What the fuck just happened? What? Are we good? I'm just as confused as you guys. I don't know why I was teleporting there. I can discharge and health drops. What? <laughs> why was I teleporting? Is there an enemy that's making me teleport? There has to be an enemy that's making me teleport. What is this? What is that? Why am I about to die, bro? Don't kill me. I just wanted to get some damn spikes. Oh my god, get this damn ball off me. I just wanted some spikes. I'm over here getting teleported. Just, just let's get 25 spikes before we start getting teleported again. I don't know what the hell is going on. I'm scared. I'm very scared. Okay. How many? Oh, please, what is that? Leave me alone. <laughs> Leave me alone. I don't know how to stop it. I can't attack through the walls. I can't stop that. Bro, it's teleporting me into the abyss and I'm dying. Jesus. That's bad. <laughs> Two more. Alright, we gotta seriously figure out what this thing is, though. Let me put my... Don't. Alright, um... You know, that's what you call tunnel vision. I was not paying attention to my surroundings. I was just... I had one focus and it was the money trough. I'm putting my money in there before I die, but obviously that didn't work out. But we're back here at home. Let's talk to the fisherman real quick. We got our favorite music playing over and over again. Love this music. <laughs> I mean, it's cool music, but hearing it a million times, it ain't that cool. Bodega, I got you your uh, bone or whatever the fuck you wanted. What's the next one? Skeleton demolitionist? Okay, sweet. So it gives us the bone saw, which I think is better than our saw, but. It ain't a fish theme saw. So you can have it back or you can have it now. Tulanite ore. Interesting. We can make the whole hollow armor set. That might be a cool armor set. No, never mind. I was gonna say it was gonna be a cool armor set just to like wear as a vanity, but like I can't, I literally can't wear it as a vanity. We got we got bigger problems when it comes to wearing stuff as vanity. But yeah, uh next up here. Let's attempt to make that jungle rod. What is it called? Jungle battle rod. Okay, it's not called jungle rod. So jungle sport. Should we? We should be able to just make that. I hope. No. Wait. No. I'm in the wrong section. No. Still can't make it. What are we missing? Literally everything. Okay. Stingers and vines. No problem. That's that's easy work right there. Y'all ever see a fish fly? <laughs> Y'all ever see a fish on a crab? I bet you didn't. I bet you haven't. Maybe you have. I don't know. Maybe you maybe you guys are following. How many people out there actually follow my playthroughs? Exactly. I'm talking about every single thing I do, you do. I mean, it doesn't have to be exact. Like, if I'm doing this shit, you don't have to be doing this. But you know what I mean. Because I know there's a couple of people that are like... Uh, they follow the playthrough progress wise like they do it as the episodes go which is interesting because say if I don't post an episode for a long time like the throng playthrough say if I don't post the episode for a really long time it's like what the hell have you been doing that whole time it's like you just gave up on the playthrough just like I did dude we're fucking dying right now that doesn't even save me from the choking 
And you know I'm all about the choking. You know what I'm saying? Choking in a good way. Is there choking in a good way? I don't think choking anything. I don't think choking in general can be considered good. It's either like you're choking your because you're dying. Or maybe not dying. Choking on like something. Food, dick, you know, whatever the hell people usually choke on. Or you're choking like you're doing a speed run. Or you're doing something that requires like the clutch gene. And then you choke. Shout out Clint Stevens. Um, you know what I'm talking about? Say like Fortnite. You gotta, you gotta easy. There's four of you, one guy left in squads, and then you all die. That's choking right there. So I don't think there's a good way to choke. Maybe you feel like your enemy, you're like, like you have an enemy, you're like, I hope you choke. <laughs> That's still not good. The dude is dying. Dying ain't always a good thing. So what I'm doing right now, like, what the fuck are you doing, man? Don't you got stuff to do? Yeah, I do got stuff to do, but like our jungle is kind of flooded. And I've been contemplating cheating just to get rid of it being flooded, but I don't want to do that. So we're not going to. Instead, what we're going to do, we're going to try and find an open area of the jungle. And from there, hopefully, hopefully find some bee enemies. I don't know. Guys, I found a dry area. Oh, my God. So beautiful. So beautiful. Man, drop a vine for your boy. There you go. Hold on. Oh, choo, 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 choo. My boy doing flips. Drop a drop a stinger for your boy. Like drop a like. Drop a stinger. So I was looking at my uh I have the YouTube Creator Studio app on my phone. What the fuck is hitting me? And I noticed Oh my god, please don't die. It, got me, it took me a while to get down here. Uh I noticed that more a little bit over 50% of my active viewers are non-subs. How the hell y'all? I mean, I do it sometimes too. I'll be honest. There's a lot of people where they're just they're like notifications pop up, but I'm not even actually sub to them. But how come on, boy, help your boy out? I've been stuck in a like loop of subs for the long time. It's like I get my channel back, but I'm still getting fucked by YouTube. Well, everyone is right now. At least most Terraria YouTubers I know. Uh, I know Chippy talked about it. Maybe Fury talked about it. I don't know. But uh, I'm stuck in a loop. I keep on hitting 37,600 37, subs. Is that what we're at right now? I keep on hitting like that number. And then I lose like 10 subs. And then the process just repeats. It's been doing that for like three weeks straight. And I don't know what to say about it. But like, what am I supposed to do? Tell, get more people to sub? Probably. So uh, if you're watching this and you aren't sub, please drop your boy a sub. Please drop your boy a no ad block. Like it takes a second to disable it. I do it for my favorite content creators because I, I support them. And you know, I usually just you know, hey, I watch this. Or even even when I originally I watch a video and it ain't someone that I really like. Uh I watch it and I'm like, hey, I kinda like that video. And then I refresh the page, hit him with that with that uh ad. Hit him with that ad. So, if you got ad block, please turn it off when you watch my videos. And if you ain't sub, all like 51.7% of your, however, whatever the number is, please sub. I'd appreciate it. Get me out of this loop that I'm stuck in. But in other news, you know, while we're sitting here farming, I don't even know how much we need. Five stingers. We got six. Two vines. All right, one more vine. But uh, in other news... Apparently, one of the developers for Binding of Isaac accidentally leaked the name for the new Binding of Isaac. I didn't even know there was a new Binding of Isaac. I thought that shit was, like, over. I don't know. For some reason, it just felt like the series was over. Because, uh, I, I don't know. It just feels weird. Isaac is not exactly the game you'd see, like, getting, you know, what, is sequels, prequels, wherever the hell the game is going to be. But I think it's called Isaac... And the four spirits or the four ghosts something like that but i'm pretty hyped if y'all been here for a while i know there's some of you that have been here for a while and i know there's some of you like hey been with you since you were like since you had like two subs and like yeah right is that thing gonna teleport me what was it? That, that thing's scary i don't know what this is that's what teleported me last time or something that looked like that who's down here 
Don't teleport me. But yeah, these people got been here since 100 subs. Like, bitch, you lying. Been here since 100 subs. I, all my people that been here since 100 subs, they're inactive. And that's facts. And when people say like, hey, been here since like a thousand subs, I can look it up. Y'all know I can look that shit up. So don't be lying to me. Don't be lying to me. I know th there was this guy that commented. I don't, I don't remember his name, but he was like. Hey, you've been here since I think he said like a hundred subs or a thousand subs. Like been here since a hundred subs, just recently subscribed. It's like what? How does that even make sense? How have you been here since a hundred subs, but you just recently subscribed? Huh? All right, we are back hither, back home. I don't know why I said hither. Um, I think we can just stuff everything in the chest. Hold up, let me do this at least. Hey, our fishing damage went up because we killed a vanilla boss. All right. Let's stuff everything in here. Radiant damage increased by two. That's a healer item. If you can tell by the big healer class. Do we need Sea Ninja Thrawn? I mean, we'll hold on to him. Might as well. There's no reason not to. Okay, hold up. Let's quick stack this. Um, And then let's make this jungle battle rod. Boom. Is this it? Make sure that's it. Boom. Bada bing. There it is. And here, you guys get to see it in action. You ready? Whoa, look at that. Ooh, what is that? Grapefruit? I don't know. But there you go. It looks cool. I like the Battle Rod mod. It's a really cool mod. Period. That's all you need to hear. Alright, what should I do to end off this episode? It's like, where's my phone at? It's 3 a.m. Did I say it was 3 a.m. earlier? It was like 2 something a.m. It's 3 a.m. now. I got work in exactly 12 hours from now. And I want to get eight hours of sleep on top of having time to wake up and do stuff. Because I hate. The thing I hated when I worked at Target is I'd wake up, go to work. Have no time in between for myself. And I hate that my schedule is like that again. Someone's a snow elf. Have we seen this together? What the fuck is that thing? That thing is ugly. Never mind. I don't, know. <laughs> I don't remember if I showed that off on a stream or not. But yeah. Uh... On top of that, what can I do with this, actually? We need cooking pot. Nine minute duration. That might be useful. But, what the fuck was I talking about? I don't even remember. There's a dungeon battle rod we have to make. I think I might try and get that, and then we'll end off the episode. I know I haven't been doing much fishing. And the primary reason for that is there isn't really much to fish. We're in late pre-hard mode okay we're like mid we're about to hit late pre-hard mode and there isn't really much to fish but once we get into hard mode there's definitely a lot of stuff to fish and there's probably gonna be a lot more uses for fishing is the ba is the battle rod a drop it might be a drop hold up we got us a problem so i'm coming down here because the way to obtain the fishing rods either by golden crates or by uh, not golden crates, golden chest down here in the dungeon. This dude's doing flips. This is the problem I was talking about, by the way. It was him. Or you can get them by opening fishing and dungeon crates. And I know I just said that there's no point for us to fish, but we just got a point to fish. So we're going to do it. We do got a lot of help. Oh, God. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. I'm sending in the bees. Sending in the bees. Go ahead, bees. Like a machine gun. That's literally what it is. It's like... I noticed that this this B was it hive puffer is like a better version of the hive gun. A minus you're able to actually buff the bees from the hive gun, but no common. Is this dude throwing nades? Is that what he's throwing? I thought he was throwing spike balls. It's actually not that bad. Not put that away. Put that away. Put that away. Put that. You know I'm kind of interested to see what happens if he shoots it. Oh, I really wanted to see him shoot it. <laughs> Has anyone allowed him to shoot that before? Alright. So, as you can see, there's a lot of water in the, like, bottom left area. So, we're gonna hit up that bottom left area. Now, honestly, it might be easier. Now, hell no. It's gonna be way easier if I just fish up dungeon crates. It has to be way easier. I just feel like, for some reason, this would be way easier. Oh, my God. Look at, you guys notice that puddle we have just perfectly down here. This perfect puddle. This perfect, in particular, 
puddle we have right here. We gotta break through the... How? My finger wasn't on middle mouse, dude. I think my game is haunted. So as you can see, had us a little montage. What is this? Someone's a cult fish. That's some monster hunter shit right there. All right. Um, so you see, we got a lot of jeweled crates, and they don't stack, which is very annoying. <laughs> Jesus, we just got 58 gold from one of those. What the heck? You know, ha, yeah, I like those crates a lot. So we got this angler fish right here. Let me disable these guys. So apparently it provides light when held. It's not the greatest light. Let's get it's kind of dark down here. That's ass. What the heck? <laughs> I mean, I'll keep it. That's really bad. You know, you'd expect more than literally like more than a centimeter of light. So or this is an origami fish. What the hell? Do I sell it? I'm assuming I sell it. There's no other use for it. I'll keep one of them. Uh, we got zephyr fish. That's always good. Rock fish. I'll sell that. Okay. Let's see what else we got. So we got all these other crates. We got. There's a lot more. I gotta suck up the rest. But let me get all of this. I have this uh ocarina here. I don't remember how I got it, but I got it somehow. <laughs> Keep that. Uh, actually, hold on to it. We got these things. Anglings. Anglings. Ultra bright potion. That's interesting. Okay. Okay. Uh, bomb fish, obviously bomb fish are always useful. Hold on to those. Uh, Colacanth, which we got a lot of. And they just make the ocean surprise. Which is not a surprise, because a lot of fish make that. Open up the iron crates. What we got? What we got? Oh my god, I have a lot of iron crates. Do we have tartar sauce already? We do. Alright. Sell these. Sell pretty much a majority of the stuff we're going to sell. Everything else we'll hold on to. Of course, more jewels. Oh, you need to do that. All right, so let's hope. Might as well open these up. So that. Let's hope that we at least get the thing we were looking for. Please. That would be very nice if we actually got what I was looking for. That battle rod. Wow, awesome. But we still have a chance right here. Wow. How fucking great. I spent all that time fishing. This is what I get. It's not over, though. It's not over. We still we still have a chance, guys. All right. So just chill out. Let's just chill out. Let's do something here. Let's go to spawn. Uh, Go ahead and sell all of this stuff. How much these goldfish go for? Let's keep one of them. And you guys should know why we want to keep one. Or maybe keep more than one. Because there's this maximum, maximum escalation potion. We're going to, you know, sell like 
one of those guys only. We're going to hold on to him, actually. Because it seems like we can make a lot of stuff with him. So, I might as well hold on. We got a fucking platinum. Like, we already had a platinum on us. We got a whole other platinum. Alright. How many more crates are on the floor? See, none of these are the chests I was looking for. Give me the chest. Alright, here we go. We had one other dungeon crate on the floor. What? I swear. It looked like there was more than that. Dude, this is some good loot, though. We're getting some good loot. We're getting some goodies. Alright, hold up. Boom. Are you fucking... Are you fucking kidding me? So we're gonna end off this episode here. I know we didn't exactly accomplish much. You know, these are always nice to have. But, uh, you know what? It's the fishing plate, though. We're taking a step at a time. It's like 4 a.m. I, I just, I just want to go to bed, alright?